How you doing? John Zimmerman with tabletclass.com and I'm just going to walk through this quick quadratic formula problem and um, you know it's impossible for me to sit here and teach you everything you need to know about the quadratic formula. Of course if you uh, need a lot more information or if you're totally lost on it check us out tabletclass.com. Anyways let me go ahead and just do this problem and uh, you know this hopefully might get you to where you need to go if you're stuck on a homework problem or if you uh, got a test coming up. Okay, so here we have 2x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. Okay, so this is a quadratic polynomial. Okay, and there's a couple different ways we could solve this. But let's suppose you wanted to use the quadratic formula. Okay, the first thing, remember, you have to have the uh, polynomial written in standard form. In other words, from highest to lowest power. So here I have x squared, I have x, and then I have my number. And you have to have everything equal to 0. So if you don't have your polynomial written in that manner, then you can't, you know, you're not ready to use the quadratic formula. Okay, so you have to have the powers in decreasing order, x squared, x, number equals zero. Okay, so if you have that set up, then we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, first thing is we need to now assign our a, b, and c variables. Notice our quadratic um, formula has b's, a's, and c. So we, we're going to use variables that represent numbers. So our a is going to be the coefficient of our x squared term, okay? b is going to be the coefficient of our middle term. In this case, it's what? It's going to be negative 1. And then our c, okay, is simply our constant or just our number, all right? Now, by the way, like I said, there's many different variations to setting these proms up. You know, sometimes you don't have a middle term. You know, whatever. If you need more practice, come on, come on over to uh, our site. We'll, we'll be able to teach you everything and more about quadratic uh, functions. All right, so here's the deal. If you have it, if you have uh, your polynomial in standard form, okay, in other words, in a proper format, and we set up our a, b, and c, or we assign our values to our a, b, and c variables, then we're ready to go ahead and plug things into the quadratic formula. So I'm going to go ahead and just do this. x equals minus b. And this is huge, what I'm going to tell you right now. All right, so let me give it like a star or something, some sort of flag for you to remember it by. When you plug in values into the quadratic formula, always, always use parentheses, okay? I don't have a lot of time to go into it right now on why. Just kind of push the I believe button, and it's going to help you out, okay? So let's go through this. It's going to be minus B, all right? I'm right here. Let me show you where I'm at. I'm going to start plugging in values. I'm going to... Start right here, minus b, and b is negative 1, so that's minus parentheses a minus 1. Okay, that's an illustration of why I want you to use parentheses when you plug in your values. Plus or minus the square root of b squared, and once again, negative 1 squared minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is negative 6 all over 2 times a, which is 2. Now, um, a couple common mistakes that students make. One, they don't have their polynomial in the proper form that we talked about. Two, they you know kind of rush things. They don't have the proper values assigned. Three, they don't use parentheses. And then four, when they plugged in their values, they don't double check. Okay, so let's just double check and make sure that, in fact, we plugged everything right. Okay, minus b. Okay, in other words, I'm just double checking that I um, plugged in right because I'm about ready to like do a bunch of order of operations work right here. Okay, and I just don't want to start doing that work unless I know that I set the problem up right. Okay, so uh, thing looks pretty good to me. And now let's go ahead and get going here. So minus a minus one is what? That's a positive one plus or minus the square root of what's this here? negative 1 squared is positive 1. Now, just be careful right here with these signs. This is a negative 4 times a negative 6, so it's going to be a negative times a negative times a positive. This whole thing is going to be positive. So it's going to be 1 plus, let's see here, uh, 12 times 4 looks like 48, all over 2 times 2, which is 4. Okay? So now I'm just kind of like taking my time. I'm double checking my arithmetic because this is where you can really get messed up on these proms. I have 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 48, of course, is 49 
over 4. Now, I need to take the square root of 49, and that's going to be plus or minus 7. So I'm going to get 1 plus or minus 7 over 4. Okay, so x is going to be equal to this expression right here. But this plus or minus business in the quadratic formula, remember there's two answers, two solutions um, to a quadratic formula. We have to do both versions here. So let me show you. So x is going to be 1 plus 7 over 4. Okay, we're going to use the plus sign from 1. And the other one, we're going to use the minus sign, 1 minus 7 over 4. And now let's just go ahead and simplify. 1 plus 7 is 8 over 4. This will be 2. So that's one of my answers. And this would be negative 6 over 4. So that would be negative 3 halves. So that's my other solution. Okay, listen, I don't want to bore you with a long old video on it. Remember, I can't possibly teach you quadratic um, equations, a formula, everything else. But, you know, I wanted to go through one example and highlight some of those common um, mistakes and errors and maybe misunderstandings. Hopefully um, this helps you out. So we love comments on our videos. Tabletclass.com, clear and understandable. We teach math in a way that you'll get. Okay, it doesn't seem like you're in class or it's like from a textbook. You know, we kind of talk in a, you know, to the student in ways they under, understand. And we have a 30-day free trial that I think uh, you would really enjoy. Okay, hopefully uh, you got something out of this video. Good luck to yourself.